Liu Yuping, Chrissy Chow, reports to the ICAC about a rich 2G Chow Yuan Yuan, Raymond Lam, who bribed officers of the Hong Kong Correctional Services, HKCS, from inside the prison. William Luck, Louis Ku, decides to infiltrate the prison as an inmate to conduct his investigation, while his partner Ching Tak Ming, Kevin Ching, and Chief Inspector Lao Pekung, Julian Chung, back him up from the outside. Danger springs from all directions inside the prison. A fellow inmate, ex-superintendent of police Wang Man Ban is anxious to even the score with William Luck for putting him behind bars five years ago. The superintendent of the prison, Sham Kwok Kung, Patrick Tam, is on the take from Chow Yuan Yuan and turns a blind eye to the constant gang fights, one of which landed William Luck in a custodian ward. With the help of a slick cell mate Wong Lam Luck, Louis Chung, William Luck is determined to complete his mission. Not content that their anti-corruption storm series end on a scornful note, try keeping your face straight while saying peace storm five times, director David Lam and producer Raymond Wong have already announced plans for a fifth installment titled G-Storm. That about describes how much they care whether you like this prison-based chapter or not which while unlikely to win over new fans to the franchise, still packs just enough chaotic momentum and sheer star power to deliver a mildly engaging but utterly forgettable time in the cinema. Those who have seen any of the previous movies will certainly be familiar with the strengths and shortcomings of Lamb's economical filmmaking. So as to distract his audience from the narrative deficiencies, Lamb throws many moving parts at you at the same time, without caring so much if they even cohere. Neither for that matter, does he bother to set up each scene properly, relying instead on the frenetic storytelling to sustain your interest. That these Storm films have however turned out at least watchable is in large part credit to the solid cast he has assembled, including Louis Ku, Julian Chung, Lam Ka Tung and Kevin Ching, who make the best out of their often wholly underdeveloped roles. Both for better and for worse, P Storm boasts exactly those same traits. The plot is just as busy as its predecessors, chiefly, there is ICAC principal investigator William Lux, who, going undercover at Czech O prison to investigate the corruption within, which the rich 2G Chao Yuan Yuan, Lam, is exploiting to carry on his dirty deeds from behind bars, then there is the enmity between William and former police superintendent Wang Man Bun, Lam, arising from the former apprehending the latter in the first movie, i.e., Z Storm, and there is also the bitter rivalry between Bun and Yuan Yuan, both of whom are vying to be the prison kingpin, and last, but not least, there is a late addition involving Yuan's wealthy parents, both of whom are under investigation by the Chinese authorities on suspicion of money laundering. Given how much story the writers Wang Hua and Ho Wen Long, who also wrote The Last Del Storm, have crammed into just a little over one and a half hours, it is no wonder that the personalities are just as superficial. Besides those already mentioned, the other principal supporting roles include fellow ICAC investigator Ching Tak Ming, Ching, the mildly sadistic prison superintendent Sham Kwok Kung, Patrick Tam, the Chow family's crooked lawyer Yu Quan Ho, Lu Kai Chi, and William's loyal prison buddy Lam Luck, Louis Chung. You'll probably also recognize notable Hong Kong actors such as Julian Chung, Wei Ai, Lo Hoi Peng, Dada Chan, Shek Sao, and Baby John Choi, though there is arguably little effort to make their presence count. And once again, the pace is frantic from start to finish, flitting from scene to scene with little attention to build up or continuity. One moment William is fighting off Wong and his men in the shower, the next William is out in the yard observing Yuan bribing one of the prison guards. And then the next, William is standing up for Yuan against Wang in a bid to get into the former's good graces. Oh yes, it isn't easy juggling so many subplots simultaneously, and Lam's technique is simply to lurch from one to another in fits and starts, before culminating in a showdown that conveniently brings together all the various players together in one setting, so as to tie up whatever loose ends in one fell swoop. But perhaps even more frustrating is Lam's insistence on showing the obvious, rather than trusting his audience to make their own inferences or deductions. That tendency results in several brief and largely redundant scenes, whether of Ching meeting the commissioner of prisons, Shek Sao, to pass some information along, 
or of Ching being made to foot the bill of an expensive steamboat meal luck had just before passing something along from William. The most annoying instance of this is at the climax, which sees what is supposed to be an intense shootout between UN's gang and a group of ICAC officers within the confines of an ICAC safe house being interrupted by an unnecessary scene of how UN had coerced Shem earlier into letting him out of prison one day before his parole. To Lamb's credit, the action in this installment is a lot bolder than what we have seen in the last three movies. The showpiece is of course a mid-air helicopter fight between Ching and Yuan, which has also been featured prominently in the trailer. It's no Mission Impossible, Fallout, but action director Tony Ling Chi Wai does a competent enough job for it to be a thrilling finish. The close-quarter prison brawls are also fairly well choreographed, including the aforementioned one in the shower, and another where William comes to Yuan's aid when he is ambushed by Wong and his men. Compliments too to the cast, with special mention to Ku, who had to brave through his cervical spine condition to pull off the more intense stunt work. Measured against the earlier installments, P-Storm ranks second best to L-Storm, which packed a tighter narrative and was therefore generally more exciting. Yet for fans who grew to embrace the franchise with Z-Storm and S-Storm, this latest is still significantly better than those earlier chapters that Lamb both wrote and directed, and by those standards would probably be deemed to be an enjoyable and entertaining enough entry. Make no mistake, it still is not much better than your average TVB drama, but at least unlike the first two storms, you probably won't dismiss it as being bad as P.